start with um, my presentation here. And here, if here are my handles, um, Twitter and um, Instagram. And I know that I put my slides on the um, on Twitter, but here is a tiny URL also. So let me present this real fast. Real fast, a little bit about me. I have a very unique uh, situation where I taught second grade for 22 years. I needed a little change because I wanted to do some more critical thinking and higher level skills. So now I teach sixth grade for three years. And then at night, I'm a major ed advisor. So I do a lot of things with high school students. So what I, was, what I started today was saying that find your people. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Ron Clark Academy, but I found some people that have really um, got me inspired for education, which also inspired me to reach out to Edgelastic. Um, so today, hook up with those people that you're meeting through this situation. My situation is uh, I had paper packets for uh, March and I had one day to prepare. And then our school rolled out a Chromebook loaner program. And then um, I only had 110 kids that could actually be online and the other 10 I had to send packets to. So I had to do both. So I quickly realized uh, maintaining that um, rigorous pace was unrealistic. And like all of the presenters have said today that here I was thinking that my content was so important, but it wasn't. So I had to realize that. So I wanted to make this um, relatable and enjoyable for my students. So here are some apps. Oh, well, but first, um, what this is, what I was gonna show you really fast is that this is a lesson plan that um, I came up with that I borrowed from another teacher. We use Schoology and you can see right there, I, I don't know if you can see your screen that's as close as I can, but a parent wanted to thank me. And um, she was saying that this was helpful to have all the links in one place. And I've seen a lot of other speakers do this. Um, but again, I was only one subject, so I had to stop putting something every day. So I decided to use Flipgrid and Membean. Um, Flipgrid is free. It's for any subject, any grade level. And um, I did it every Wednesday for seven weeks. And I learned probably more about my students using Flipgrid than I had learned all year. So that's a quick, uh, definitely check out Flipgrid and I'll show this to you in a second. Membean is costly, so I know with budget cuts, uh, you might not want to um, investigate this, but it builds vocabulary and it has all the SAT words, ACT words. And I had a student who came from Puerto Rico who spoke no English and she learned English through Membean. Turn it. Okay, there. So, just like almost every speaker said that, you know, kids, can't learn if you can't get the emotions first. So the connections and relationships are so important. So through Flipgrid, guess what? I saw dad get a haircut. I saw uh, goats and horses and things that I never knew my students had, they've shared with me, but this is a tool that um, you can use in math and science. It has a dry erase board for math teachers. They could actually do the problem and um, record them explaining it and you don't have to show the whole community the um, video you can grade it without the other students seeing it so um, you can create like 10 minute videos five minute videos and here on the left side are my um, assignments and you can moderate if you do use flipgrid please moderate your videos because that will help you decide which ones you've already graded. Because if they're not moderated, you might have 115 videos in an hour and you're not gonna be able to tell which ones you already used. So the top of my screen, you can see that just 11 topics had 353 hours of shared learning with my students, that they were actually teaching each other more than probably I was teaching them. Plus the feedback you can give to them is amazing. On the right hand side, you can see you can give them a rubric and also you can give them um, feedback on their video. video. Um, I did a lot of social emotional learning while adding in some skills. I'm supposed to teach complex sentences. Well, guess what I did, but in a fun way and listening speaking standards. Um, I also was supposed to have the students learn how to give evidence 
text-based evidence. So instead of writing a five, parag five paragraph essays that I had to grade, uh, I decided to have them speak it to me, which made it pretty fun. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of here and show you because I can talk about it all I want, but for you to see it probably will make it better for you. All right, so here is uh, Flipgrid and you, I'll go into a topic here. I'm not gonna show you the whole video, but I want everyone to see this. This is a student who was very quiet and you don't, I didn't realize, she, I didn't realize that art meant the world to him and a little award we gave him. Well, look how he has this. I won the art award this year and I like to share that. So I have a whole table set up with some of my art that I've made, drew I should say, and start out with the sign. So he goes on and on and shows his artwork, but do you see this little certificate right here? That's something we do for PBIS that we thought, oh, they're just gonna throw that away. He has it framed. I'd have never known that if I didn't use Flipgrid. Maybe I'll show you something else. That, which is green. The students had to pick a song that they would add to their um, their uh, soundtrack for their life. And let me show you this real fast. So my song is I Got You. And that um, that is something special to me because I don't have um, a lot of, I don't have a huge group of friends that I'm always talking to. Like now I, I did ask the students if I could share these. So I just want to make sure you know that I even got parent permission. <laughs> Okay, real fast. Here's another one real fast. I used a lot of Khan Academy and then you can um, then put your own videos and then they can explain through. The author's but attitude toward how to live life is truthfully. He says in verse four, line one, don't be afraid to let them show your true colors, which means you shouldn't hide who you are. Another example is so you see how she was able to give me the line and the verse and those things like that. Um, so, oh gosh, this is so hard to go so quick and know what to say. So Flipgrid, I think that if you have the chance, definitely check it out. Am I, do I have like one or two minutes? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Please. All right. Real fast. Membean. Some of you might go, I don't want to pay for this, but I want you to know that uh, I saw some other speakers say that I do a lot because of data. So here are some results real fast. I had 41 students on level, but look how many I had below. Oops. Come on. So this is the air test results from my students, and one set of students did not have membene and one set did. On the right hand side, um, you can see that the students with Membean, look how they scored higher in the vocabulary in the year before. So I'm not saying that's the only thing that helped, but it is um, definitely something that helps me, that my students, is they also have a huge report system that I show parents and the students and they can manage their time. It's a session where they practice all these words. It tells you accuracy, how many minutes. And I taught them how to um, train effectively and efficiently. And this is kind of what it looks like. Yes, it's not a gaming system, but they follow um, paragraph here there is video i didn't show you the whole screenshot but it has seven different ways to learn a word that it stays in your brain so goodness i definitely encourage you to try something out 
Mem but mem being the costly, but please, please check out Flipgrid because you will not believe what you're going to learn from your students um, just through a simple video.